Does it look like a normal picture to you? Uh, probably I should maximize. You might want to pause the video and take a closer look to it. Take your time. It is a normal picture, right? Well, did you know that hackers can use pictures to hide malware in it? Yeah. And the way to do that is by using a technique known as steganography. And steganography essentially means that you're able to hide things in plain sight, like hiding things inside images, inside audio files, inside PDF documents. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to close this picture and I'm going to bring my terminal and we're going to install a tool that is used for this purpose. So first I want to know, so I am at my home directory. So let's go to desktop where I have the picture. So file. So if we have gathered some information about this file. Yeah. So it looks like it is a picture, right? There's nothing strange on it. So the tool that will allow us to use steganography is Steg Hide. So we have to install this tool on Parrot OS. So to do that, I'm going to run the command sudo apt install Steg Hide, and I want to confirm the installation. Now I have to type my password, and this shouldn't take long. Okay, so it's already 80%. Okay, it is installed. So now let's go gather some informational help about this tool. So essentially, uh, this tool that they have here, the example, they allow us to hide a specific file into another file. In this case, this is an example where they show how to hide a file, a TXT file into an image uh, G JPG file. Okay, and you can see the command here. And there are other options that we can use if you want. You can play with it, but let's just keep it simple. Now, I'm not going to create a malware. I'm just going to create a TXT file and let's embed or hide this file inside the image. So let's create first the file. So it's going to be uh, something like this is the password to open the email and the password should be quite complex 24 and let's hide inside or let's store this inside this file password txt so we have a new file password txt awesome okay so to hide that and i want to bring tag hide help so we can use tag hide embed and you can see here the options so minus cf means the cover file so in this case it would be the image so that's scared and ef is the extraction or the embed the embedded file in this case should be uh, ef and the password file now when i press enter it's going to ask for a passphrase to hide this file i'm going to type a password and another one okay and looks like it's done. And so let's take a look at scary file again. So it looks normal. Let's see. Let's open the file again. And looks like the same file, right? I can maximize this. I don't see any change at all on this file, but we just hid a TXT file inside this image. Let's confirm that. I'm going to close this and I'm going to create another directory. Uh, I'm just going to call it as vault. And I want to call that image into vault directory. So let's go into vault. So I have only the picture. So now I'm going to extract the password file that it is inside the image. And to do that, I'm just going to use my uh command here so stag hide extract minus sf file so stag hide minus sf and the picture and looks like i missed something 
sf oh i didn't yeah i didn't write extracts so i'm thinking but i'm not doing so i have to type the password okay and now we have two files and this is the password file as you can see this is very simple and probably might say oh this is very basic yes it is very basic but depend on how you use it so hackers can take advantage of this feature of this tool to hide uh, malware and then use another file like cron to extract something that is inside a normal picture and then execute that malware without you ever noticing at all that you had a malware in that picture and there are different ways that probably you might try to see if there is something inside that picture but normal users on a day-to-day -day basis we just download the files but we never take into account that what might be inside this file now I hope that from now on you'll be more careful with the files that you download on the internet because not everything might be what it looks to be. So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.